Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson where we will learn about links and loading pages in Next.js how you can create them and how do they work in your web application that you are designing with the help of Next.js so let's get started if you recall from our previous lesson what we did was we actually created a page with the name as dashboard and you were able to navigate between the pages with the help of slash dashboard after the local host 3000 port something like this and these were the two pages that we were able to navigate but with the help of the arrow buttons but normally when you design a website that is not the case you would actually want to have buttons over there or some sort of links that would navigate you between the two pages or any n number of pages that you have in your website so let's see how you can do that so for that we will go into the dashboard pages over here and what I will do is I will import link from next slash link now this is one of the modules that we will be using and after the h1 heading over here I will write down link and then the href obviously this href is going to be a single slash because if you remember a single slash actually means that you are onto your home page I will then close this link and what I will write here is go to home let's save this page now if we just notice over here we have actually created this link inside our dashboard page so you won't be able to see it onto the home page but instead if you go onto your dashboard page you will see over here that now you have a link over here which says that go to home and when you click on this link you will be able to go back to your home page now I also want to have a button over here which will take me to the dashboard so for that I will go to my page.tsx inside my main parent directory and over here I will again import the same link and then after the h1 heading or wherever you want it to be in your web page you can directly take it over there and over here I will write down slash dashboard so now this means that whenever this link is clicked which says go to dashboard so it will take us to our slash dashboard page which we created in our last session so let's save it and now you can see over here that we have a button which says go to dashboard and when you click on this link it will take you to a dashboard and when you click on this link it will take you back to your home page so this is how simply the links work now there can be cases where you want to refer someone coming onto a website to an external web page and you don't want them to exit your own website so let's see an example for that one so if you see over here this is something which replicates our example that we are talking about so let's say you want to have this kind of a link where you want your users to click on that link and it goes into a new tab so that the user does not exit from the main page that they have opened in their first tab so for that what we will do is we will go on to our link so let's say you want this kind of a thing to appear inside your main home page so after the href what you will do is you will give a target and now this target is going to be blank so what this will do is it will open up a new tab let's save it and when you click on the dashboard this time you will see that it will take you to a new page or a new tab in your browser and when you go back to the home it will take you to the home page but within the same tab itself so you can see now whenever you click on the dashboard it will open a new tab for you or a new window for you so this is how links work in Next.js now let's move on to one of the other thing that we discussed we will be talking about and that is the loading page now let's say you want to have something over here which tells the user that okay even if there is a wait time in between the pages to be loaded so the user knows that okay something is going to happen and instead they do not in vain wait for the pages loading or not so that brings in a state of confusion for the user so for that case what we do is we normally apply a loading page and let's say you want to apply a loading page between the home page and the go to dashboard so let's see right now when you click on the dashboard it directly takes you to the dashboard page because there is no network latency at this moment but let's say if the network is slow or there is some sort of thing which tries to load the page for a larger amount of time so in that case you need to have a loading page so let's see how you can create that so for that what I want is I want to create a loading page inside my dashboard I will create a new file over here and what I will name it as is loading.tsx and I will bring in the content from over here and then rename it like we did previously so this time what I will do here is I will only return h1 
and that will say a message loading and over here I will name it as loading so this will be the function named as loading over here so now let's see what happens so I will just go to the dashboard and you will see a loading page came in between and then you directly jump onto the dashboard page so let's do it again you see there came a loading page again and then it takes you to the dashboard so this is something really important that you should have in your web pages as well as discussed earlier that right now we are only discussing the concepts of how things work and in our future sessions, we will be looking at how you can actually give some enhanced styling to have a beautiful aesthetics for your website. With this, I hope you have got an understanding of how links and loading pages work in Next.js. I hope you have liked our video. Don't forget to give a like to this video and do share and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this.